The showpiece of the week is without doubt the Gold Cup. And Friday afternoon sees the returning favourite, Bobsworth, the champion from last year, the current 2 to 1 favourite with us here at Star Sports. A few younger pretenders to his crown in behind him. 7 to 2, Silvaniaco Conti. 7 to 1, Q card. Can you make a case for any of them, Claude, or are you with the favourite here? No, I'm with the favourite. Um, unbeaten at the festival and won the Albert Bartley, the RSA Chase, and, and the Gold Cup. Um, got a tremendous record there. It was beaten up at Haydock, I know, and all the gloom merchants were writing him off that day, then bounced back to win a decent race in Ireland. I think he's got a lot going for him. He's tough, determined, uh, and he's the sort of horse I could see coming up that hill and, and winning again. Um, uh, Nicky Henderson, I know, he had four winners at the meeting last year. Um, I'm hoping that this will be one of his winners uh, on the Friday. Yeah, I, I must admit, most likely winner for me without a shadow of a doubt. Slightly short at two to one. Hopefully, you run at bigger prices. I'm sure you are, Claude, already. Tom, Gold Cup, hit me with the winner, please. Yeah, listen, I think one thing that we can learn from Bob's Worth is how quick we are as punters and analysts to actually write off horses on the strength of one performance because go back to November, uh, the Betfair chase in Haydock Park, uh, Bob's Worth didn't fire that day, track didn't suit him, and instantly his price was shunted out. All the way, five, eleven to two. I even saw six to one that day. Uh, he was just dismissed as if he was no longer a factor. And yet, back on a more suitable track at Leopardstown at Christmas time in the Lexus, we saw the true Bob's Worth. So, on a stiffer track with his stamina and with that astonishing Cheltenham record, uh, he would be my idea of the winner. Um, great respect for Savinarco Conti, who was travelling so powerfully when he came down last year. Q card, just a question mark about his stamina. Obviously, he was fantastic at Haydock. Um, go through the remainder of those uh, I'm very very impressed by last instalment go back to his novice form of 2011-12 two grade one wins and of course bouncing back in the Irish Hennessy uh, immediately after the race some very good judges were very quick to nominate him as a potential winner so certainly in each way chance if you were looking for a horse around what 6, 7, 8 to 1 uh, I'd say very strongly last instalment could play a big part uh, but the winner for me Bob's worth some of those at bigger prices the likes of the giant bolster for all that, um, you know, very, very um, good luck to his trainer, David Bridgewater, who, uh, along with Wick Hill, you know, those, his two flag bearers, great to see him in the frame if he could. Captain Chris, probably better going the other way round. Uh, Harry Topper would need it to turn into a bog and uh, difficult to see him winning. So, win candidate Bob's worth very strong with the festival record each way last instalment. Bill, answer the impossible question, Silvaniaco Conti. Fell three out last year. Would he have gone on and won? I'm not sure. I mean, I think I think you can make a case either way. Um, the one thing I would say about Bob's worth is that he's got an amazing record at Cheltenham. He's five from five. He's had all the luck here, and one of these days his luck's going to run out. And I just worry with Bob's worth. You know, when you watch a replay of last year's Gold Cup, he was inches away from being brought down by Silvanarco Conti. And you need everything to go right for you, and everything has gone right for him here. He's getting shorter and shorter. Yes, he had a great win in Ireland. Um, I'm just not sure whether he's the bet for me. Sylvian Arca-Conti, fantastic run in the King George. Whether he's a Cheltenham horse, it was always a question mark. Um, Q card, will he get home? I'm not sure he will. I think he'll, he'll travel really well. I think he'll run much better than he showed last time. Um, for me, the key is Gigginstown. for me. Last instalment, will he turn up here? Yeah, there have been clouds over his trainer. He hasn't been an easy horse to get right. If he doesn't turn up here, first lieutenant turns up here, and I would really fancy him in a Gold Cup. But if he does turn up, I would fancy um, last instalment. Jumps, stays, got lots that actually backed him for an RSA chase he never made. But I always thought Cheltenham would be his track, and I think at the prices, last instalment is the bet each way. And just one supplementary question there. Uh, you mentioned uh, Gigginstown being the key. Um, do you think it's almost certain that one of the two last instalment first lieutenant will run in the Gold Cup and one will run in the Ryan? Yeah, I, I think they will have. They have. I think Mouse Morris has made noises all season about first lieutenant have finally having his chance to run in a Gold Cup, and now he's suddenly saying, "Oh, we'll go for the Ryan." Mm. I think the race that first lieutenant should run in is the Gold Cup. I think the team orders it to run in the Ryan because it's their race. Well, I think one of the most popular horses in training is probably Q Card. Um, yeah. I love looking back at that Supreme where everyone goes, oh, what a disappointment it came forth. And you look at Alpha Roth, Spirit Sun, and Sprinter Sacra in front of it. You think, Christ, it's bumped into a few there. Brilliant win last year. Awful how it just stopped dead in the King George. It was almost 
too bad to be true. And I know the, cloud, the yard were under a cloud at the time. So I'd love to see Q card win. Um, at seven to one, I think it's a really big price. But I think Bob's Worth is the most likely winner of the race. Claude selection. Yep. Uh, seven of the last eleven favourites have uh, won. I think Bob's Worth will be the eighth. Tom. Well, I know Bill just said his luck's got to run out sometime, but maybe it did run out at Haydock, and mm. he redeemed himself at Leopardstown. And on the strength of that, I was so impressed there. I can't desert him. So Bob's Worth. And Bill, finally. Um, last instalment, and I think his biggest threat might be Cucard. Weirdly, but I do. I think the last instalment for me would be the one. And that's a wrap. Thank you for joining us for the Cheltenham videos. All the best of luck.